Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to go over what I feel are the top five best looking comic book movies on 4K. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, I'll put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365, as well as over at the Disney Magic Hour podcast. I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, so this video, I'm going to talk about what I feel are the best looking comic book movies that have been put out on the 4K format. Uh, this is going to be a very subjective list. You will, of course, have your own, so I encourage you to put it in the comments what you feel are the best looking titles that have been put out here on 4K. Now, as far as the movie themselves go, I'm going to be judging just based off, this is, I, I feel that I'm just going based off of like the picture quality here, not the quality of the movie itself, because I would definitely put, you know, let's say my number five would be way ahead, uh, you know, as far as um, the quality of the movie itself. But this is just talking about picture quality, the 4K, the HDR, and we're going to jump right in and talk about those things. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're viewing um, my list. So let's jump right in. My number five is going to be the probably, actually it is, it is the only one on my list that it's, it's basically an upscale 4K. It's not a true 4K. That is going to be 2012's Marvel's The Avengers. I really feel that the difference coming off of the standard Blu-ray is enough that it really should be added to the list. Now, this one specifically, as opposed to Age of Ultron, which I feel looks has a little more filmic look to it, uh, Infinity War and Endgame, they all look great, but I feel that over the standard Blu-ray side, that the colors all just really pop over on uh, the original Avengers. Uh, just the entire Battle of New York City which just is more lively. It has a lot more detail. Black levels are fantastic. And just the overall color palette is so much better than over on the Blu-ray side. It looks, it looks fantastic. It is actually a beautiful looking disc. And yes, it's not, it's not a true 4K. It is an upscale but I feel it still should be included on this list here. I just, overall the color palette itself, I feel warrants that actual inclusion. So just keep that in mind. Uh, that's why I would include this one on the list, uh, standard HDR, no Dolby Vision on this one, but it looks fantastic, it really does. And I think the uh, improvements over just the color palette alone, as I just said, look fantastic here on, uh, on, on 4K. So that is my number five. My number four is going to be X-Men Apocalypse. The Brian Singer directed film definitely makes this list. It is a beautiful looking movie, despite what you may think of the quality of the film. While it's not def it's not going to be one of the better X-Men films in your library, visually on 4K with HDR, it looks fantastic. Uh, level of detail is, is really turned up a notch and it just differentiates itself over the standard Blu-ray really, really well. And I think it's absolutely, it's just worth checking out for that alone. The color Color palette also looks great. Uh, it has a has a, a nice vivid color. The the everything from the the abilities to just you know what Apocalypse is using his powers. Uh, Jean Grey, they all look good. And they look they stand out fairly well. Now as far as the CGI goes, it can look a little bit on the soft side, but I think more often than not, it definitely complements the live action aspects really nicely, and it's just a fantastic looking presentation in that regard as well. Black levels are also very nice and deep, and they look great. It just honestly, it's just one of the better looking discs out there. The the full 2160 looks great. It does. Uh, it's just one of those things that. If you are an X-Men fan, you definitely want to add this to your collection. And if you're a 4K fan, this is something you can definitely show off as far as like what a superhero film in 2160 could really look like. And just, it looks, it looks really, really remarkable at times. And it's one of the better looking presentations on the 4K format. My number three is going to be Todd Phillips' Joker. This one is definitely uh, not the most visually clear of all the, all the choices that I put on my list. But this one, because it has a style, it has that 70s-esque, you know, classic kind of look to it. But the detail, the black levels, and the color all bring something spectacular here. Now, this is supported by HDR and Dolby Vision. And it really just adds that extra layer to what we get an already good looking image here. Uh, black levels are pretty nice. They, they're very deep and they have a lot of like, 
you know, depth to them. But the level of detail, I think, is one of the better aspects here of this particular re release. Uh, skin textures, costuming, the general aesthetics of the area, you know, the, the scene. They look fantastic and they're brought up. Uh, brought out a lot more detail than you get over on the Blu-ray side of things. Uh, color levels are really nice as well. They're a little more natural. They definitely have a uh, less of a, a visual pop as you get, as you would get over on like uh, a more typical superhero movie. But this being more of a true to life kind of just look to it and how while it's not the most clear of all pictures, it still looks fantastic and it is an absolute recommendation as far as the one of the better looking movies on this format it's just really that dolby vision really it just brings things out and it just looks phenomenal uh overall as a as a uh, as a as a good comic book movie and a representation of what 4k can do my number two is going to be logan and this absolutely deserves to be on the list uh in addition to being the final wolverine film it's just the james mangle directed movie is just a beautiful visually pleasing to look at uh there's there's absolutely no no reason this cannot be on the list it's just an that it is absolutely that beautiful uh it's supported by hdr 10 which is plenty to look at here it's, it's a beautiful grading now as, as far as the the color version of the film goes it looks great uh the colors are 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 a bit muted but they're still like great to look at and they're more natural and they have a nice tone to them Detail is pretty much the best part of this release. It is uh, visually like just great, great detail. Uh, everything from skin textures, costuming, it all looks phenomenal here. And it's just, uh, it's just an overall wonderful looking uh, as far as detail goes. Black levels are also really, really nice and sharp. But I really want to talk about the fact that this comes with a noir version, which is black and white. And the black and white scenes are are. Beautiful. Uh, the 4K is rendered really nicely here. It's nice and clear, and it's just honestly my preferred way to watch the film. But it's just it is absolutely you know just one of the best aspects of this uh, title. The 4K looks great, guys. It is it is pretty awesome. It is one of the best movies on this list. Um, but it is it is absolutely worth checking out in the 4K format. Uh, as I said, HDR10 is supported here. You get the color version. You get the black and white. And both versions are worth t uh, checking out and definitely uh, just give you the best highlights of what we get here on 4K. My number one is probably going to be number one on a lot of people's lists as well, and that is going to be Aquaman. Visually, this is breathtaking. Uh, it is absolutely a beautiful thing to look at on 4K, supported with HDR10 as well as Dolby Vision. It's just an absolute, just mesmerizing presentation here on the format. Uh, the, the ocean blue and the underwater scenes are all rendered really nicely. The special effects, the, the battle scenes, uh, everything from just, you know, the, the trident uh, abilities that happen in the, in the back half of the film to the, the black masks, uh, helmets and suits, just the overall weaponry of the Atlanteans. They all look visually beautiful here. The, the CGI is breathtaking to look at. And it it's, doesn't stand out too much from the live action. So I think there's a nice blend here. And the fact that they, they were able to get this uh, just to look so visually stunning in 4K, it is absolutely just one of the best looking discs on there. And I would, and I would say one of the best visual discs out there, period. It uh, doesn't matter which genre. Uh, black levels all look fantastic here. Just the, the scene with the trench, it looks pretty awesome just it really does it, it's just the the blackness and the red contrast they really just play off each other and just the other black levels throughout the film are also really rendered nicely color is just spectacular here i just mentioned the red from that scene uh just as i said the visuals of the weaponry from the atlanteans uh, just all look fantastic and detail is great it is Honestly, the best looking disc here on, on probably most, if I were to do most lists here, but this as a comic book movie, it is one of the best things to look, to look at. It looks just like a comic book. It really does. It's that visually appealing and it is absolutely beautiful to look at. It's really kind of one of my favorites and I really think it would probably be on your uh, number one as well. 
So that is it for my top five. As I said, these lists are very subjective. Let me know in the comments below what you would put on your particular list of the best looking on the 4K format. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.